Hi class, so we continue our study in chapter 4 talking about exponential functions by moving into section 4.4. And 4.4 is finding equations of exponential functions. Now what I want to do in this section is I want to walk you through how you find it by hand. So I'll show you some examples there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a calculator trick for finding uh, equations of exponential functions. So if you have your TI-87 or TI-83, excuse me, TI-83 calculator handy, um, be sure to follow along with it, and I will um, also show you how to do this stuff with the emulator on my computer. Okay, so finding equations of exponential functions. So first off, um, an exponential curve we learned in a previous, sec uh, chap previous section here contains the points listed in the table below. So what I want to do is I want to find an equation for this. Okay, so I've got x, I've got f of x, and I want to find an equation that maps or shows this relationship here. All right, so notice that when, when x is 0, the value is 3. So, so this will help. When x is 0, think of that as the starting point. And when at the start, you're at 3. And then as x goes up 1, we go from 3 to 6. From 1 to 2, it goes from 6 to 12. 2 to 3, it goes from 12 to 24, and so on. So what you're seeing here is you're starting at 3, and then it's doubling every time you increase x by 1. It's doubling. All right, so we have this exponential function that we learned we learned in the previous section. So if something is exponential, um, and the reason I know this is exponential here is because it's doubling, so it's doubling every time. Um, so f of x is equal to a times b to the x. So recall that the y-intercept, so the y-intercept occurs when x is equal to 0, 0 comma a. So I know that the a value is 3. So we see from the table that the y-intercept is 0, 3. So we know that a, that blue value here, is equal to 3. And then as the value of x increases by 1, the value of y is multiplied by 2. Okay, so this is by the base multiplier property, all right, that b, the base, is equal to 2. Therefore, an equation for this curve is equal to 3 times 2 to the x power. And like you can see this here, if you take 2, 2 squared is 4. 4 times 3 is 12, and so on. 2 to the third power is 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 8 times 3 gets me 24. So this works. So y-intercept, your starting value, and then how much it's being multiplied by every time. Okay? That's how what the b is, and the y-intercept is the a value. Okay, you can check this results in your calculator by plugging it into the y equals and setting up the table. That's, that's no problem there. You'll see you get the same things. All right, so now I want to talk about how you solve an equation of this form. So b to the n is equal to some number k. Okay, so I want to, what I'm basically trying to solve for is I'm trying to solve for b here. All right, and this is where n is a counting number not equal to 1. Okay, so it'll be like 1, 2, 3, 4, or it's not equal to 1. So it'll be like 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So if n is an odd number, like 5, 7, 9, whatever, the real number solution is, is you just take k and you raise it to the 1 divided by n power. Okay, that's it. If k, if, excuse me, if n is even, so like 2, 4, 6, 8, all right, and k is greater than 0, it has to be, then the real number solution is you get two of them, you get plus or minus k um, to the 1 over n power here. And if n is even, okay, like 4, 6, 8, but k is a negative number, well, there's no solutions to that. So there's no real number solutions. All right, so let me show you how to put this in practice and to solve this. Okay. All right, so I want to find all the real number solutions and I round, want to round any results to the second decimal place. Okay, so I want to solve for b here. Okay, so notice it's 5.42 times b to the 6 minus 3.19 is equal to 43.79. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add this 3.19 to each side. And when I do, I get this. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by 5.42. <coughs> Excuse me, my apologies. So I have to figure out what this is, okay? And I'll, I'll, I'll do that in a second. Then the next thing what I want to do is to get rid of this 6 here, because I want to get B by itself. I'm going to raise both sides to the 1 6 power, okay? So 6 to the 1 6 will cancel out. Uh, using our rules of exponents that we learned in a previous section, okay, and 
So I have to evaluate the distance. So how the heck did they get this number here, this plus or minus 1.43? Well, first off, when the n number is even, okay, um, you're always gonna get a plus minus. You're always gonna get two possible values. And let me show you how to evaluate this in your calculator. Okay, so I've got this crazy thing here, and I know it's equal to plus or minus 1.43. So when you turn on your calculator, what you're going to do is you're going to put this jumbled mess in parentheses, 46.93 divided by 5.42. I'm going to close the parentheses. Now to raise to the 1 6 power, I'm going to hit this button right here, this little caret sign right here. And then in parentheses, I'm going to put 1 divided by 6 and then close the parentheses. Now watch what happens when I hit enter. 1.43. 1.43 when I round it to the two decimal places. Okay, so notice it doesn't tell you plus or minus on your calculator. You just have to remember when this is an even number, you get two solutions, plus or minus whatever this evaluates to. Okay. So go on, let's try another one. Let's find all real number solutions and let's round our result to the two decimal place, second decimal place here. Uh, so I got this b to the 9 divided by b to the 4 is equal to 70 divided by 3. Well, first off, let me simplify this craziness right here, b to the 9 over b to the 4. Well, here you're going to um, subtract the exponents to get 5. So 9 minus 4 gives me 5. And I have to solve this now. So the 5 is here. So I put, take each side to the 1 fifth power. So I have b is equal to 70 divided by 3 to the one fifth power. And unfortunately on the slides, you can see that's gonna be equal to 1.88. But let's practice this again. So this is 70 divided by three, and then raised, and then in parentheses, one divided by five, one fifth power, like so. And you see when I round it to two decimal places, I get 1.88. Okay, because this number five is an odd number, there's only what one solution, whatever it is. There's no plus or minus there. Okay, so we got that. So this is just solving equations now, okay? So what I wanna do now is I wanna find an equation of an exponential curve, okay? So I wanna find the approximate equation, y is equal to a times b to the x of the exponential curve that contains the points 0, 3, and 4, comma 7. And let's round the value of b to two decimal places. All right, well, remember, y is equal to a times b to the x. Okay, so here's the deal. We know what a is, right? a has got to be whatever the value of the y-intercept is, okay? So since the y-intercept is 0, 3, the equation has to be of this form y is equal to 3 times b to the x. All right, now here's the deal. The next thing is we don't know what the value of b is, okay? But remember, this is my x and this is my y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this into my equation. So the y value was 70 and the x value was 4. So now I just have to solve this crazy equation. So to get the b by itself, I divide by 3. And then I take both sides to the one fourth power. So let's see what that is in our calculator when we do that. So it says here it's 2.20. So let's verify that. So 70 divided by 3 raised to the 1 divided by 4. Yep, I get 2.1978. Look, it rounds it to 2.20 when I do this. Okay, the reason that. Um, we don't have, we only have one solution here. We don't put the negative numbers because all these numbers are positive, okay? So since they're all positive, um, we just only have one solution, um, the uh, positive number here. All right, I wanna show you another way that you can find this very, very easily, right? Instead of this solving part. Uh, and you're more than welcome to try this on your homework and stuff as well. Okay. First thing I want to do, I've got two points here, 0, 3, and 4, 70. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my stat button. So my stat button. And under number one, I'm going to input these values. So 0, 3 is my first point, 
and then 470 is my next point. Okay, so I've just inputted them in as ordered pairs into my stat button. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit stat. I'm going to go over to calc. And we've used this lin reg before. You've seen me in the my graphing calculator. But I'm going to scroll all the way down till I see this thing called exponential regression, E-X-P-R-E-G. I'm going to hit enter. Now, if you have a TI-84 uh, or higher, you're just going to hit enter, enter, enter until you get to calculate. If you have a TI-83, you'll just see this. I'm going to hit enter. And look at this. This is telling you your equation. Y is equal to A times B to the X power. They're saying, look, A is equal to 3. That's what we had. And B, the base, is equal to 2.19. But when I round it to two decimal places here, it's 2.20. So your calculator did this like, like that very easily without having to solve any equations. Okay, so we got this. So now since our equation is y is equal to 3, and my new base is 2.20x, its graph contains these points, all right? But since we rounded the value of b, actually the graph comes close to but does not exactly pass through the point, 4, 70, but that's okay. And so we can use a graphing calculator to verify this. So I'm going to go to y equals... So y is equal to 3 times 2.20 raised to the x power. And then to zoom around the points that I have inputted in my calculator, I'm going to hit zoom. And it's stat. Oh, hold on. Sorry. I'm going to turn my stat plot on. And then go to zoom stat. And you can see here's 0, 03, here's 470. And you see that our graph, like, it's like near perfect going through them. So it's, it, it's great, it works. All right, so um, just remember dividing left side and right sides of two equations. If you have A is equal to B, C is equal to D, well, then obviously A divided by C must be equal to B divided by D. So in words, the quotient of the left side of two equations is equal to the quotient of the right side. All right, so let's do another one. Uh, find an approximate equation, Y is equal to A times B to the X of the exponential curve that contains points 2 comma 5 and 5 comma 63. All right, so I want to round the values of A and B to two decimal places. All right, so this is uh, this is a little bit tricky how I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, but I will show you how to do it by hand, and I'll show you how to do it with the um, graphing calculator as well. All right, so I have this systems of equations. I have A and B, right? I want to find the starting value and the B value. So these are my ordered pairs. This is 2 comma 5. So I'm going to put 5 in for Y and 2 in for the X value. Then I'm going to do the same thing with another equation. Y value is 63, and the X value is 5. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be solving this systems of equations if we switch them around so the higher numbers are up top like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide 63 by 5 and AB to the fifth times AB squared. Okay, so we're going to divide the left side and divide the right sides of the two equations to get the following results. Well, look what happens here. Um, you have 63 divided by 5 is equal to AB to the fifth divided by AB to the squared. The A's are going to cancel out. Okay, so you just get 63 divided by 5 is equal to B to the third power. Well, now all you have to do is solve this. Well, you're just going to take one third to each side, and you get this, roughly 2.33. So now you've just solved for B. Listen, you've just solved for B. So now what we have to do is we have to solve for A. 
So we're going to substitute 2.33 into my equation. Y is equal to A to B to the X. We just found B. It's 2.33. So take any point. All right, take the point 2 comma 5. So remember, I'm going to put 5 here, and I'm going to put 2 here. And you just have to solve this. So square this, and then divide it over. And you're going to get roughly A is equal to 0 0.92. All right, so our equation then, all right, that passes through these points 2 comma 5 and 5 comma 6 is Y is equal to 0 0.92 and then in parentheses, 2.33 to the x power. All right, so if you were like, oh, that was a little hard or weird, uh, let me show you how to do this in your graphing calculator right here. So you're going to hit the stat button. You're going to edit. And what you're going to do is you're going to clear out the values that you had in here. And then you're going to input the points, 2, 5, 63. Then you're going to hit stat. You're going to go over to calc. <coughs> you're going to go down to this thing called exponential regression, exp reg. And look at this. The value of A to two decimal places is 0.92. Awesome. The value of B to two decimal places is 2.33. Look how much easier it was to use your calculator for this. All right, so please, please, please um, use your calculator for this if it, if it just contains two points. Again, the graph will show us that the equation we found that goes through the two points. And just remember, we can find an equation of an exponential function by using the base multiplier property or by using two points. And both methods are going to give us the same, but I think the calculator method I showed you was much easier than this. All right, so feel free to use that on your homework.